Okay, it's March. This means summer is going to be here before we know it, and you need to start planning your camps. If you have kids, you are already thinking about what to do <laughs> with summer because it comes like this. Luckily, we have got Miss Lindley here from Upstate Parent Magazine, and they always put out the best issue that really has all your camps covered. We do, we do. Yeah. I was just sitting here looking through it and people look so forward to this uh -huh. camp guide and it's definitely important to start thinking about it now, like you said, yeah. so that these camps don't fill up. But there's something for everybody. There's dance, musical theater, of course there's sports, if you love pottery, if you love bugs, I mean there's something bugs for every pottery, kid. Two of my yes. favorite items in the world. Me too, Jack. But now too. you don't have to think a week long camp. Some of these are just yeah. day camps, right? Some of them are day camps. There's overnight camps also. Um, and some of them are a week long. Some of them, I know some of the dance camps are about three days during the week. So there's something for everybody. Yeah, what's so good about these is uh, when I was a first time mom, when Will was new, you know, it was like, okay, school's gonna be out the end of May, June. I'll worry about that in May. Don't be like first time mom, Megan. Don't <laughs> wait until May because then you're gonna be like, oh, there's nothing left. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You need exactly. to start doing it well, now. Well, I know this, my science center has a camp, Roper Mountain Science Center. Yes. Yeah, that would be but fun. But what's good about Planetarium, this is, yeah, maybe? what's great about these is because it's mm -hmm. not like these crazy long commitments where you have to commit yourself to the mm -hmm. whole summer. It's okay, you kind of start piecemealing the summer together to kind of keep the kids. Yeah, interested. you can keep them interested if there's something that they want to try. Maybe it's something that they want to try that they haven't done, and then mm -hmm. it's something that they want to be more consistent with in the fall. So that's yeah. a good opportunity well, as well. I found something that will uh, give away I mean, more copies. You don't have to sell copies; they're free. But that'll help. I don't know why they, that's not take on the those cover. That should be on the cover. <laughs> and what is it? Our ad? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's our ad. I was looking. I'm like, let me see. <laughs> Some the of the other cans. Oh, okay. I was okay. wondering. I was wondering. Yeah, the Y always have. We were saying, and I'm just partial to them, to the Christ Church camps because there's, I mean, right. like 200 options, something crazy. They have, they have several. Aren't the, some camps free? Some of the vacation some, Bible schools well, will do. Kind of camp. We'll okay. do yeah. some. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, but it's the, all listed in there. But then it has things about like the six C's of choosing a summer camp. So, you know, what you're looking for, because just because there's a camp doesn't mean you want your kids to go there. Exactly. If you're going to be sending them there, you want to make sure that you pick up this issue and look for the six C's mm -hmm. of content. What uh -huh. actually, are they just going to be sitting around all day? Are they going to actually be doing things? Doing something. Ch the child to staff ratio is very important. Oh, that's a good, good one. Is it certified if what they're doing needs to be certified and safety are they certified the code of conduct and communication so mm -hmm. this is a great guide to make sure that your your kids are going to mm -hmm. be safe and, and be are all your camps in the book in just South Carolina or do you go into Western North Carolina uh, we have some that go into Western uh, North okay. Carolina yeah. all right. so the arts yeah, yeah this really is like a, a great thing and I think you nailed it Lindley when you said it gives the kids a chance to try something new that they haven't tried before and it's a weak commitment, some of these. So if they hate it, it's only a week, or maybe they'll be in love <laughs> with it, and then you can start to really invest. Yeah. Is your dance studio, y'all do, do, do any camps? We do. We have camps all summer that start from preschool. So we have our beach bash for preschool, Ooh. and then we have our beginner camps. And those feature all different styles. So we'll have some rally cats come in to do palm. We'll have tap, jazz, ballet, I've hip hop, girls of are course. Just like, oh. <laughs> they do. They really love it. And it is, it is a great opportunity to have some new ones that, you know, they may fall in love with it, or they may say, <laughs> we want to do soccer. I mean, so, yeah. so it is a good opportunity for them well, to the try. Well, the old phrase okay. is, try it, you might like it. it right? <laughs> Give the exactly. kids a chance yes. to like something. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sitting here. Y'all grab your copy to us. The, it's the most coveted one of the year, the That's summer right. camp one. That's Thanks, right. girl. Thank you so good. much. Thank Appreciate you, it. We have a local survivor's, uh, well, a local cancer survivor's story, uh -huh. and we're going to tie it in with some uh, chefs, and we're going to try to chop cancer. We'll Let's explain do it. that term in a minute.